This is a the end of a long bone here. You see that that cancellous bone inside there or spongy bone and then the outer compact bone. It's a good look at it here as it goes back inside the hill. We have a nice looking fossil. I can imagine it goes back quite a ways. It, it's obviously a long bone. So a femur, tibia, fibula, blah, blah, blah. So you have so many layers. And as, as, we, as you go north along the shore here, you're, you're going from miles that way, you're in glacial till. And as you go north, you get into, it gets older because the plates all are rising. And so you're getting into, you know, Mesozoic. I gotta cross, so I wanna get over there. So I have to go all the way through this bay, walk all the way around and it is deep, so. But we need to get over, over here before we run out of daytime. Latrodectus hesperus, the western black widow. Very handsome spiders in their own right. Shiny, sleek. It's a beautiful adult female. She even has some markings on her back, so she's got one more molt uh, before she's fully adult. Still looking for bones along here, fossils. Again, this is the Mesozoic, or, or the lake shore here is represented throughout the Mesozoic. So we have the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. Um, and as we get farther south along the lake, we get into glacial till um, of the last, you know, from maybe 20 to 25,000 years ago. But as we go this way, we get into the Cretaceous, the, the Mesozoic. So those are fossils, dinosaur fossils, I imagine, as this is pretty, this is pretty deep sediment, so I'm going to say they're probably dinosaur fossils, dinosaur bones of some sort. That's quite large. Um, I'd say that's about a foot, a foot long there, and then I don't know what I'm looking at there. I'm, I'm up here a bit. It's up pretty high here, so... And I can't get any higher to get a better look at that, but... It looks... It appears to be a long bone. I almost want to say that's a femur. Notice how the outer compact bone has turned blue. So that blue is caused by mineralization as you as you may know the the bones are replaced by other minerals when they fossilize. That appears to be a femur. You can even see some of that inner, some of the inner cancellous bone or spongy bone. Very neat specimen here. Here we have some more bone fragments. You can see some more of that blue, that blue mineralization. Kind of pretty. Now I don't know what mineral that would be that has replaced that. You can see that the compact bone on the outside has turned blue. And the interior bone is still white, the cancellous bone. We got some fragments over here. I don't fall off here. Here's some bone fragments. Notice the blue, it's kind of pretty. A dinosaur of some sort. I'm not too sure what layer I am in here. So we have you know, all through the Mesozoic within these layers along the shore.
and checking the rubble field here as it fell down I can see there's just bits and particles of that skeleton um, this almost looks like a that almost looks like a phalange or a you know like a tip of your finger or toe just a shard of it I'm not finding much of what broke off of there maybe keep searching a little bit here look at the size of that spider wow so center of the frame right up there that is a big it looks like a jumping spider i'll have to climb up that is enormous